Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football 10 box random team break 2. This is a mega box edition, so it's a retail edition right here and it's big boxes here. Also, there's an early bird special in here as well. So if you're one of the first uh, 20 people right there to place a full spot order, there you are. You have a chance at an extra spot right down there. So let's put all your names in here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Different dice roll from the team randoms. Uh, six and a five. Five and a six. Eleven times. Name on top gets the extra spot. One, two, three, four, six. And eleven the final time. After eleven, we got Derek. There you go. Derek H. After eleven, congrats. You are the early bird. Catches the worm. Extra spot. Nice. So now let's grab all 32 names. Here are 32 spots. And we'll randomize names and teams. All 32 teams are in. Um, I'm assuming no vet commons ship in this, right? Just double check that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no vet commons ship in this as stated in the description. But all, all of the rookies, of course, will ship. There's all 32 teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Three and a three, six the hard way for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Got Andy down to Derek. Derek's early bird spot. All right, hard six for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. And good luck, everybody. Sixth and final time. After six, we've got Carolina all the way down to the Washington football team. All right, so Andy, you have the Panthers. Randy with the Falcons. Brian with the Lions. Uh, Matthew with the Giants, Eric with the Bills, Chris with the Jags, Kyle with the Buccaneers, Darren with the Bears, Christian with the Steelers, Nicholas with the Patriots, Eric with the Dolphins, Kyle with the Eagles, Eric with the Bengals, Jared with the Ravens, Greg with the Seahawks, Eric with the Texans, Matthew with the Broncos, George with the Titans, Chris with the Niners, Mark with the Chargers, Matthew with the Packers, Brian with the Chiefs, Eric with my Raiders, Derek with the Colts, Nick with the Vikings, Nick M with the Cowboys, Matthew with the Rams, Mark with the Jets, Greg with the Arizona Football Cardinals, uh, Aaron Pettit with the Saints and the Browns, and Derek with your earlier bird spot, the Washington football team. Now, everyone, you have the opportunity to trade. So let me sort this by column B, by team. Think about last year's draft class, the 2019 draft class. Keep that in mind. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back. And uh, when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. There were no trades, so let's keep rolling. I didn't see that onside kick. All right there. There's 10 box. And there's the final printer right there. No trades. Callie, what's going on? Where are we watching Monday Night Football? Probably, probably at your at your shop. Let's go to your shop and watch it. You got you got a ton of TVs there. Yeah, my Raiders with a good win. Running game was strong. Rest of the offense did just what they needed to do. Defense did just enough, even though they kept the Panthers in it all the way. But that was an important W because they, they faced the uh, Saints on Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me what your team is and, uh, and how they did, or how they did not do. A quick little sentence in the chat. Was it a good week one, a bad week one?
Let me actually open a couple boxes right here. Mark H saying Chargers with the ugly win, but you'll take it, man. I can't believe that Bengals kicker missed that uh missed that kick. Vanilla Gorilla saying same old line. For a team you hate, Vanilla Gorilla, you sure talk about the Lions a lot. I think you actually love them. That's what it sounds like to me. Always concerned about what the Lions are doing. Always in love with the the failures of Matthew Stafford. Like a like a jilted ex-boyfriend, always checking in on the ex-girlfriend. I don't know. I think you still love the Lions, Vanilla Gorilla. Yeah, Burrow did look good. Man, he, sh he should have had that touchdown. But that was a bad interception. He should have just thrown it away. I mean, he's, he's a rookie. He'll learn. <laughs> All right. There's Noah Fant right there. I think he caught a touchdown. There's little Jordan Humphrey. Green Pulsar autograph for the Saints. It's going to be for Aaron Pettit. There's Josh Jacobs right there. I wish it was a silver. Let's look for the silver Josh Jacobs, but obviously rookie Josh Jacobs for Eric S. It's going to be big. He's pretty good. There's Evan Ingram, Green Pulsar, which I think is exclusive to this set, right? That neon green. Coop, what's going on? Oh, DraftKings and ESPN? Yeah, let's go. Randy's all in on Metcalf and Minshew. Yeah, Gardner Minshew looked really good. I hope that, I hope that continues. Ripping cards, you're all in on Seku? Seku Demboya? Or am I missing a Seku in football? We're talking football right now and during this football break. Minshew's only had, is only QB in history, 95% passing completions and three TDs. Did he take it to the next level in the offseason? Maybe he did. There's Miles Gaskin. Nice autograph for the Dolphins. That's going to be for Eric S. Mustache mania. Yeah, Mustache Mania, I guess, is in full swing. All right, next couple boxes. John McCall, what's going on? Yeah, Padres with a big win over my Dodgers last night. I don't know. Dodgers just look, look like they're... Not into the short season. As if they're waiting for a real season to happen next year. Let me actually open up the second box, too. Oh, I'm sorry, this pack. Check out when Minshew's name is on Google. I'm in the middle of a break right now, Randy. Why don't you tell me what it is? It's Uncle Rico? Nice. John says tonight's Padres will be a half game back. Are you uh 
Are you counting chickens? I think John John McCall's counting chickens right now. Trap King, Uncle Rico, either one of those I'd, I'd accept. Let's see, what else happened? I'm trying to recap the, the week one really quick while I'm opening packs. Yeah, Seahawks looked great. Russell Wilson looks good. Josh Allen looks great. Does he keep that up? Is it MVP Mitch this year? Great comeback win for Trubisky. Yeah, Packers seem to cruise. Patri <laughs> Patriots beating the Dolphins 21-11. A lot of a uh, lot of injuries on that offensive line for the Eagles. They fell to the Washington football team 27-17. We talked about my Raiders. Josh Jacobs looks good. Minshew looks good. 27-20 over the Colts. Ravens just Browns do not look good. Ravens 38-6. Uh, yeah, Chargers just couldn't get anything going on the offense. So, they should have lost that game. Tyrod Taylor did look horrible. That offense looks terrible. You were on fire the one weekend you don't actually. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's Adam. It can be a tout. And I was upset, two upsets, two really close upsets away. Is Drew Lock? Broncos probably should have won. Eh, Broncos. Maybe that's debatable. I don't know. This guy could have played, played a little better, bit better. But the, uh, the Bengals definitely should have won. The Chargers played horribly against Horrible. The worst, against, worst yeah, against a rookie quarterback. Sean, Sean's like, see, like Chargers defense looked good against a rookie quarterback who's never played a pro game. <laughs> Philip Lindsay, Silver. Jawan Williams, rookie autograph for the Patriots. That's going to go to Nicholas L. I'm surprised the Bengals were trying out Adam Pac-Man Jones yet. Mm. Just a Randy Bullock calf cramp away from from losing. Because they would have won in overtime. It's Rocky Asin, rookie silver. More Drew Locks. Paul W. saying Steelers looked good. He's in on Benny Snell cards. Yeah, Snell did look good. Expatriates look horrid, says Cascade. Joe Lancaster says Eagles suck. He has a New York Yankees logo, so I'm assuming he's a Giants guy. Not like the Giants look, looked any better. Um, Mitch is going to be lucky to have a starting job by week six. I don't know. I'm all in on Mitch Trubisky, MVP Mitch. There's Jay Sternberger for the uh, Packers. That'll be Matthew Shira. I think Fitzmagic did have three picks, didn't he, for the Dolphins? Is it Tua next week? Week five or six, Paul saying Herbert takes over. I don't know. Chargers fan Sean Jaspi wants to give Easton Stick a look. That's if, if, if they give Easton Stick a look, Anthony Lynn's like, please fire me from this organization. TJ Watt looked good. Steelers. That goes to Christian. Bradley Chubb was kind of non-existent. I thought he'd shine a little bit more with Von Miller out. But still early in the season. I don't know, Absolute. Someone, we were talking last week about when does Tua get a chance? How long of a leash does Fitzmagic have? And we were... We were I think some of us said, maybe it was Cascade, was saying like three interception game. His first three INT game, they bring Tua out. So we'll see. All right, next box. Who, Jamal Adams? Yeah, Jamal Adams looked great for Seattle. I think he even got a, he even worked in a sack too. It's pretty nice. Christian hopes we see two in like uh, week three or four. I guess you can consider how many, 
when, how do starters play in preseason, right? They play, there's four preseason games, right? A quarter, a quarter, a quarter, then maybe a half. So that's, so week one of the NFL is basically, basically a, a preseason game. All four quarters of a preseason. So is week two? That's when the rust is knocked off. So kind of hard to judge teams based on on week uh, week one, but that's what happened. Uh, Saints cruised against the yeah. Brady looked a little rusty. I think Brady will be fine, but. Uh, but I think uh, Saints looked really good. Breeze didn't really look that good either. Both quarterbacks looked a little old and a little rusty. But, but we'll see what happens. Brady has to learn a completely new language on the Buccaneers. Cardinals putting up 14 points in the fourth quarter to beat the Niners. No, Niners didn't really look sharp either. I think they were missing some pass. Kittle was out. I don't think that, that helped. That did not help. I think Debo Samuel maybe was out too, and that did not help. Rams looked great against the Cowboys, I think. I think the Cowboys threatened at times, but the Rams' defense definitely were able to shut that team down. And then last night, Dennis saying Jimmy G overrated. Last night, Steelers, crew, ah, there were a couple opportunities. Giants in the first half had a couple opportunities. Daniel Jones had a had a pretty bad interception that well, well, well didn't they have like a 19 play drive and Daniel Jones drove them all the way in like within the within the five uh, five yard line or something like that and that, I think that really just took the wind out of the sails if he scored a touchdown there I don't know maybe the team kind of you know tails up right they're gonna get a little more active a little more excited but uh, yeah, I think I think that blew, that just destroyed the momentum there, and uh, and the Titans, in spite of Gotkowski being terrible for four nearly all four quarters of the game, he comes in the last handful of seconds and wins that game for the Titans. But what's Fangio doing, not calling timeouts? Well, what was up with that? There's Marvin Jones Jr. What was he doing? I don't know. That was a mistake. I think he admitted as much the next day. Dennis saying Cleveland regretting not drafting Josh Allen. Yeah. I, I want to chalk it up to rust, but I don't know. Yeah, Baker didn't look very good. Odell Beckham Jr., little, little dropsies right there. There's MVP Mitch right there. Redemption for the autograph. Adam Humphreys had a decent game last night. All right, Dwayne Haskins for the Washington football team. Derek, it's looking all right. And uh, there's J.J. Arthigo Whiteside. Silver for the Eagles. Kyle. Kyle Cook with that one. On paper, the uh, on paper the Browns look pretty good, but I don't know. Yeah, that guy's injury did not help the uh, Niners. There's John Ursua, green autograph for for Greg and the Seahawks. The Hawks of the Sea. Nice Josh Jacobs right here. What's our uh, we should we we should always have overreactions, right? What's our overreactions? Post week one overreactions. Raiders going uh, sixteen and zero, right? Obviously, that's my overreaction. Josh Jacobs, three touchdowns a game all season long, right? What's three times 16? That's a lot of touchdowns. There's Deshaun Jackson. 
Tom Brady is just old. He's garbage now, obviously. Those are some overreactions. Jacksonville, Washington Super Bowl. There you go. All right, let's see what this redemption is going to be. It's bam. Gardner Minshew. There he is. Rookie autographs, prism neon green. So it's going to look like that, except Gardner Minshew's picture and, and his name on there instead of Deshaun Jackson. But it's going to look kind of like that. Gardner Minshew the second. That goes to the Jags. Chris Slaughter with the Jags. You know, pen. Nice. Good time. Uh, good time to get his stuff. It doesn't really look like an X. So you have until April of next year, almost the uh, almost draft time next year, to redeem this. I would redeem this early, get him in your hands, and hopefully watch his value grow. Minshew at times was a little touch and go last season, but I think by moving Nick Foles and not really not drafting a quarterback, I think Jacksonville indicated to him, listen, get to work because you're our guy, <laughs> at least for your rookie contract, you're our guy. Whatever his deal is right now. Which I think isn't very long, so. But so far, we after week one, he's shown, hey, I, I wanna be the guy. Let me evolve with this team. Let me, let me grow with this team. It's pretty exciting. Those stories are always great. I don't know. We have any other over, we have any other overreactions? Week one knee jerk reactions. <laughs> or what about uh what what teams looked better than you thought? Yeah, Chiefs will probably repeat, right? <laughs> what teams looked better than I, than you thought? I thought the. Uh, I thought the Rams looked better than I thought. I was on the Rams, but just on TV they just looked better than I thought they would. I think Steelers looked better than I thought. Maybe I was, maybe I, I was a little concerned about Big Ben's uh, rust. Yeah, I mean he hadn't he had to come back from a from an elbow ligament surgery. I thought there'd be a little more rust on him, but no, he looked after the first quarter or so he looked pretty good. Yeah, Pack played well. I think a narrative going into going into the season was, oh, remember how the Packers won a lot of close games last year? So do those close wins turn into close losses this year? But no. It seemed it seemed all right. What about the flip side? What teams look worse than you thought? I thought the Falcons looked worse than I thought. I mean, they scored 13 points in the fourth quarter, but but for three quarters, I mean, that's mostly garbage time, right? I mean, that's being kind to the Falcons saying they had 25 points. 13 of them were garbage time points. I thought they'd look a lot better. I wasn't on them. I was thinking about it. I'm glad I didn't, but yeah. Falcons looked worse than I thought. So, I mean, again, this is just post-week one knee-jerk reaction. This is what everyone, this is what fans do, right? It's what we do. So, all right, let's see what we got here. There's Tom. We can overreact on him, too. Tom Brady is done, right? Benny Snell Jr. looked really good. There's Malik Hooker, this hooker right here. Going to the Colts. Derek. And the blue horseshoes, I think, will be okay. I don't want to overreact on them. There's Benny Snell. Sam says you sent one of those redemptions in from Minshew last year and you still haven't received it? I guess, as Brad was saying, he's too busy practicing to sign cards, I guess. Too busy evolving his game. But Gardner, if you're listening... 
please, please sign your redemptions. Your fans are waiting. Ooh, 200 points. Right there, we'll randomize that to one person in the break. If we get more points, we'll collect them as one lot, as we usually do, and randomize them all to one person in this break. Cole Beasley, green for the Bills. That'll be for Eric S. Le'Veon Bell, hurt his hammy. Kittle, what, a knee, I think, for Kittle. And look at this. Is this one of the one of the best kickers in the league right now? Harrison Butker, silver. That's for the Chiefs. Brian Croft, with that one. Another redemption right here. Any guesses on that redemption? I'll have Robert Woods cover it up. Let's save that Jared Sidham too. Cam Newton looked good. But I don't think that means bad news for Jared Sidham. I think, unless, do you think the Patriots would re-sign Cam Newton? That'd be interesting. Originally in the preseason, I was like, I was like, you know what? It's only a one-year deal. Don't worry about Jared Sidham, right? One-year deal. If Cam Newton does excellent, he's just going to get paid way too much money. I don't think the Patriots would pay him. I still kind of lean that way. But if he does terribly, then, you know, it's just a one-year experiment for the Patriots. But I don't know. Now now maybe I'm leaning more towards the Patriots will keep him? What do you guys think? Did look good, though. All right, we got rookie autographs, Prism Neon Green, card 322. Is that another Minshew? Wow. It's another Gardner Minshew. Jaguars, Chris Slaughter got randomized the Jags. There you go. Final two boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Box nine and ten. Good luck. We've got another ten box in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com if you want to get into that. Yeah, no, I hear you, Sam. We've talked to we've talked to Panini and the other major manufacturers before, and no one likes redemptions, but I mean it's just kind of on the players. <laughs> Like, sign your cards, guys. Yeah, give me a crazy uh, hockey stat, Brad, in this football break. Dallas Stars moved on, right? I thought Vegas was going to win that series. That's what the game was telling me. Yager has had a team. Yarmir Yager has a teammate or former teammate on every Stanley Cup team since 1980. Well, Yager is a known uh, is a known cyborg. He just hasn't admitted it to the NHL yet because I don't think we have rules on, on cyborgs, which would be a great hassle for the next collective bargaining agreement. But definitely a cyborg. He's going to have to retire soon before they find him out. Is he retired? I know Vince Carter, another cyborg, has retired. I think Tom Brady had to look rusty in game one because he didn't want to reveal his <laughs> his cyborgness either. It's hard being a cyborg. Adrian Peter I don't know why Adrian Peterson keeps playing. He looked effective over the weekend. He looked he looked more than effective over the weekend. He's got a 
He's got to tone that down or people are going to figure out he's a cyborg too. Oh, he is retired. Yager is retired now. Okay. Good. He's got to protect his fellow cyborg. There's Julian Edelman. For the Patriots, that'll be for Nicholas L. More Jarrett Stidham. How far will Gore catch sweetness? How far away is he? There's Brett Rippon. Green, auto for Matthew Shira. There's Dexter Williams for the Packers, Matthew Shira with the Pack. Gore, Gore's what, over a thousand yards behind? What did what did Frank Gore, how many yards did he get last year? Jonathan Abram. Daryl Henderson, rookie green. That's for the Rams. That'll be for Matthew Shira. And A.J. Brown for the Titans at the end. George with that one. A.J. Brown looked pretty good yesterday, too. Slow start but then started to get it, ease himself into the game. All right, Ryan H., what's going on? All right, let's randomize these points to one person in the break. Winner take all. Well, I don't know what those numbers mean, Fred. Yes. WP. Oh, 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 that's Emmett Smith, Walter Payton, and Frank Gore. Frank Gore's at 50. What did I, I need to know what Frank Gore got last year, or the last couple years, I guess. How many yards has he been averaging a season at his age? He might be a cyborg, too. Name on top after four. We'll get the points. Three and a one. One. Nice. Two. Three. And four. After four times, three and a one, four times. After four times, it's Derek with the early bird. I don't think I called your name for Washington too often. I think there was a Terry McLaurin, maybe a Haskins in there somewhere, rookie card. But you will also get the 250 points as well. Gore had 600 yards last year, 722 in 2018. Ooh, so he's got a little work to do. I mean, if Gore can grind out another two or three seasons, maybe he can catch Walter Payton. All right. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. That'd be interesting. Ten box, random team two, mega edition of 2019 Panini Prism Football. We got more uh, in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe. I'll break more of that with you next time. Bye-bye.